Welcome in here to Draper APA for Powder League Basketball. Team Drisdom and Team Egan squaring off in the first game for you right here on kslsports.com. Team Egan wearing the black uniforms today. Team Drisdom in the grays. We've got a lot of great talent on the floor. As that ball batted out, it will stay with Team Egan. We talk about a lot of great talent on the floor. We've got some uh, extra special talent tonight. Brandon Taylor, former Ute, is on the floor for Team Drisdom. He's defending the ball here in Egan as Team Egan works it into the post with Panos kicking it out to Ryland Jones. Papa Jones in the house tonight, the head coach of the Highland Rams here locally as a shot clock violation will give the ball back to Team Drisdom. Some of the talent for Team Drisdom. Here's Dakari Tucker to inbound, former Ute again. As we're going to uh, ask for your patience. We do have one roster clarification that we were unable to get before the game, but we will work on that as Taylor misses the jumper. Egan with the re or Team Egan with the rebound. We try to work it back down to Panos in the post, and that ball kicked. It will stay here. Still no score one minute into the contest. Got a doubleheader for you tonight coming up. Two great matchups as Panos with it here in the post, working on Chapman, tried to toss it out, and it is broken up. Playing it ahead, here's the lob and the finish. Takari Tucker with the dunk and the opening bucket of the contest going the way of Team Drisdom. Another steal. Working it back, and there's Egan to take it away. Pull up, jumper, too strong. Offensive board won't go for panels. Blocked away on the second attempt by Tucker. Inside foul is for Cott Chapman. Couldn't get that to go, but he'll have a chance to head to the line here. Chapman will be awarded with two free throws. Former Roy Royal. And then uh, spent some time on the hill and, and then up in Wildcat territory. He's a first free throw good. One more coming up here for Chapman. Two for two. A little bit of pressure here. Egan gives back to Panos. Panos had a huge game last week as he works inside too strong. The rebound cleared by Terrence Drisdom. Working it up and a foul here given by Egan. It'll be Team Drisdom to throw in. Taylor will try the three, too strong. Egan up ahead with Jones. Jones on the drive, defended here, trying to work around Isaiah Wright. Nice move, and how about Ryland Jones with the finish and the foul as Ryland will head to the line. Wright picking up the personal. Ryland makes good three-point play for Ryland Jones. Not having to defend Rajon Tucker this week. Three on the way, rattles out. Offensive rebound was tapped back by Wright, but it heads out of bounds. Egan here to inbound, they do so. Kicked out to Ryland, Ryland with a step back, this is just a two. Long on the try and right now pushing it. Sends it out to Tucker. 
Dakari for three. Back of the iron, offensive rebound gathered by Taylor. Has Chapman with him, now down to right. He'll try a tray, won't go. Offensive rebound again, this time gathered by Drisdom. Right, foul, couldn't get it to go. Isaiah Wright heading to the line here to shoot a pair. Seen some nice takes here in the early goal, but been tough for these two squads to find the bottom of the nets. See if Isaiah can connect here from the line. He's got two free throws, first good. Two for two for Isaiah. Six to three, the advantage for Team Dresden. Tough take, won't go. I think that was Tony Roberts. Other end, and Tucker getting tripped up. Panos trying to make sure he's okay after the contact. Looks like he is. Tucker to the line here. He'll have a pair. First for Dakari. Good. I think just the one field goal for Team Drisdom. And the other five points have all come from the line. And for Team Egan, just the one field goal. The other point coming from the line. So Charity Stripe has been important here in the early going. Eight to three, the advantage for Team Drisdom. Roberts, Ryland trying to work through traffic, has it now, Taylor defending him. Jones off the switch. Roberts in the paint, tough shot. Tucker there defensively and Roberts has the rebound. Excuse me, Taylor with the rebound. Here's Chapman on the drive through the paint. Thought there was contact there, so did the bench of Team Dresden working inside. Panos with the hesitation, couldn't get it to go. But the foul picked up here inside by Dresden. Now Steve Panos heading to the line. He has two to come. First is good. Two for two for Steve Panos. Taylor, Jones doing a nice job sticking with him. How about the fine though? Nice cut there by Isaiah Wright. Able to float at home. 10 to five the advantage. Long three from Roberts, won't go. Tucker ahead with Taylor from the corner. Taylor hasn't been able to find that range yet. Ryland Jones coming near side. That shot off the front of the rim and over. Approaching the midway point here in our opening quarter. This is a two point try on the way from Drisdom, won't go. Now Taylor. Little step back, that's a two. Brendan Taylor able to hit his first field goal. Again, just a two on the try from Brandon. Three on the way, won't go for Team Egan. Taylor with the board. Right. Gonna pull up from 12, Isaiah Wright. Has no problem with the mid-range J. 14 to five, the advantage. Three on the way, count it good. Ryland Jones able to dial one up, an important bucket there for Team Egan. They're trying to hang around here in the early going. Isaiah Wright is trying to get that inside to Chapman, a foul given here by Team Egan. 
Good to see Isaiah Wright again. Saw him early days up on the hill. Was a fun player to watch. Substitutions coming in here. A.J. Hodges, former Murray Spartan coming on, and Dwayne Brown. Utah State Aggie on the floor here for Team Drisdom, wearing number two. Right on the three, that looked like it was deflected and a late foul here coming on the closeout of Carter. It'll be free throws coming up for Isaiah Wright. Carter getting an explanation from the official still here on the call. Three free throws coming up for Wright. Wright has the second one rim out. One more coming for Isaiah. Two for three. Here's Jones. Carter. Tucker staying right with him. Good defense by Dakar as he gets the block. Carter keeps it alive. Here's Roberts. Able to get a little bit of space. Going to go off the glass. Tony Roberts with the bucket. Tony's balled out in the powder league. He's been a fun player to watch. We have offensive foul called here on the drive by Dwayne Brown. I saw the jersey move a little bit. Thought we were going to get a defensive call. Instead, the offensive foul as a substitution comes on here for Team Drisdom. Shaq is in the house. Shaq Buchanan wearing 55 on the floor. He's defending here in the paint, working against Lokini and that pass out by Drew is out of play. 325 left here, opening quarter. Tucker hangs, won't go. Carter with the board. Pushing it here for Team Egan. Carter working around this defense and an offensive foul called on Carter. As tell you what, AJ Hodges stood in and took one for the team. PA guy was asking if AJ was okay. He gave the thumbs up. He's smiling. Brown gonna try the long jumper, won't go. Nice drive over the extension of Brown and off the glass for the bucket. 16 to 12 as Team Egan continuing to hang around here in the first. Hodges gonna pull up here from 17, AJ Hodges. Oh, I remember seeing that in the black and orange at Murray High School. Mid-range game of AJ. Looking strong here early. Roberts had that taken away. Brown pushing ahead. Right sends out. Extra pass to Hodges. A long three. Off the front of the rim for AJ. Ryland Jones being shaded, able to find that lane, path to the rim, couldn't get it to go. Tucker staying straight up there defensively, right for three. Isaiah Wright drilling the three ball and the lead push back up to nine, just like that. Jones trying to answer. Off target, Tucker. Crafty pass, Buchanan will try the three. Shaq Buchanan dialing it up. Back-to-back -back threes for Team Drisdom. And they've doubled up Team Egan here late in the first quarter. Minute and a half to play. Roberts kicking it out. Carter pulling up in the paint, short. Tucker has help right. 
Thought about the three, instead we'll give it to Shaq. Buchanan again, won't go. Brown offensive board, back to Shaq. 26 to 12 and a timeout taken by Team Egan as Team Drisdom looking strong here in the first. Welcome back here, minute to go in our opening frame. Roberts on the drive, moved around, three on the way, count it good. Big three there for Team Egan. Needed points and got him out of the timeout as Hodges sends it to Shaq. AJ, nice defense there by Roberts. As Team Egan working ahead, blocked away by Buchanan. Living up to the Shaq name, inside to Brown for the finish. 20 seconds to go here in the first. Lokini gonna try the three. Drew Lokini hits it. The lead now 10. Five seconds to go here in the first quarter. Taylor on the drive, doesn't get it away, and the first quarter comes to a close. 28-18, the advantage for Team Drisdom after one. You're watching the Powder League on kslsports.com. Start of the second quarter, 10 point advantage for Team Drisdom. Jones, drawn in multiple defenders, will kick it out. Three on the way, three good. Back to back threes by number 34. We don't have a 34 on our roster. We will get that at the break for you. But it's been a good start for him. Three on the way, rims out. Roberts with the rebound. Tony pushing the tempo here. Pull up, 17 won't go. Lucchini couldn't get the tip. And it's cleared by Shaq. Taylor for three. Wouldn't go, and it will go back with Team Egan. Substitution, Burkott Chapman coming back on the floor here for Team Drisdom. I'm still looking for Trey Smith to get in the game. I was talking with Trey beforehand. Little handoff there to Panos. Boy, and Panos took one, and he is uh, gonna take a moment. Nice little start here by Team Egan. 5-0 run, and Panos gonna try to uh, 
get things settled. We'll step aside and be back. Well, Steve's back up. No need. He'll shake that off. That's uh, not fun. Game on. Nine minutes to go here, second quarter. Shaq tried to get it to Chapman, but it's taken away. Oh, how about that take? We talked about uh, the ability to shoot the long ball. And how about the takes to the rim now? It's, it's now a 7-0 run. And there's a turnover. Oh, oh my God. Hey, please give me some. No, you don't need no Jones. Hey. Blocked away by Taylor and a foul here going to be called underneath. Taylor thought he got all ball. The official there to blow the whistle. And it will send Ryland Jones here to the line. Ryland's first free throw good. Will Carter coming back on the floor here for Team Egan. Jones two for two. It's a nine nothing run for Team Egan. In fact, I'm trying to remember if it was 28 to 15 at one point. I think it was as Brandon Taylor there able to hit the three and that will end what I think was a 12 nothing run. Jones to answer. He's been trained on that since he was young. Ryland Jones able to dial up the three. Taylor over to Chapman. He'll try from range, won't go. Rylan. I hit the support. Rylan wanted that one. A substitution here. Isaiah Wright coming back on the floor. Dresden on the floor as well here. Caleb Lanehart came on for Team Egan as that pull up by Taylor was short. Jones into Carter. Blocked away by Drisdom. Carter gets it back. Lokini working baseline. Too strong. Carter amongst the trees will send it out. Panos foot was on the line. That two won't go and Chapman gets the clear. Tucker for three. Dakari Tucker. Straight away knocking down the long ball. 34 to 30. Drisdom in the lead. Lokini lost it. Chapman with it. Oh, how about that threaded ball to Taylor? And a timeout taken. 36 30. Drisdom leading Egan. Six forty-five left here in the first half. Team Drisdom got off to a big lead. Egan able to come back, got to within one. As they continue to work back, looking for their first lead of the game. Still, as Chapman, they're able to intercept 
end to end. Chapman sending it out. Right. Thought there was contact there. Officials letting things play on here. Panos. And a nice job there in the block by Dristam. Able to knock that out. Allow the defense here to get set. Panos. Jones trying to work around the screen there. Into the paint, knocked away by Chapman. Tucker. Oh, nice little fake as Dakari now kicking out. Round the horn. Three on the way for right. Eight oh run here for Team Drisdom. Wayne Hart can't end it. Right. Handing off to Taylor. He'll try the three. Just won't go. Jones will try. Rylan. He will knock down his second three of the game. Right. Super cut. Clark does a nice job there, taking away the baseline. Chapman wanted it back. Instead, Tucker will draw the foul here. And Dakari going to work his way to the line. Dakari's first rattles out. Betrayed by the rim here, Dakari Tucker. He's got one more. Both of them rimmed out. Panos, nice find to Roberts. Tony Roberts with a little floater. Credit the assist to Steve Panos. Taylor. A little shimmy and a shake. Won't go, and that batted out. Was a 13 point lead. And Team Egan. Jones. Tough baseline fade, won't go. Right with the board. The lob to Chapman. Just couldn't finish it. Right, trying to work on Jones. Oh, nice pass. And Clark going to be called for the foul here. He thought he got all ball. Instead, it will be Chapman heading to the line here for two. Caught good on the first. One more for Chapman. Chapman hits them both. He'll come off the floor. Dwayne Brown comes on. Here's Roberts. Okay, ball out the Lokini working in the block. Blocked away by Wright. Kept here. Drew was looking for the underhand in the lane to Roberts, and it's turned over. That was just a step in front of Brandon Taylor. And we'll come back here with Team Egan. In fact, Captain Adam Egan just checking in. Lokini bats it out here. Roberts looking back in the block. Drew too strong. 
Brown sends out. Tucker for three. Ryland. Little Euro and can't get the English to help finish, but with the contact, we'll head to the line here. Two free throws coming up for Team Egan. 3.13 left to play here in the opening half. First free throw off. It's Tim Drisdom coming on the floor here. Split the pair. Tim, back to right. Tucker, off target is Jones pushing it up here. Roberts will try the three. Tony Roberts able to hit one from range and back to within two here. Let me see some. Let me see some. He can't hold me. Let me see some. Okay. Right. Let me see some. Roberts doing a nice job there defensively. Right. Has to send it out. Off the glass, too strong. Batted out by Brown. And it will head back to Team Egan with a chance to tie or take the lead. 222. Left here in the first half. Panos. Oh, Steve. Get that baby out the street. That is the pride of Highland High School going to work there on Brown. And we are tied up at 41 apiece. Tucker. And contact here. The foul call on Roberts is he left his feet, came into Tucker. Brown trying to give it right back. Stays here, right for three. Isaiah Wright able to drill it. Keeping the lead with Team Drisdom, 44-41. Little fade away, soft touch. Tucker, straight away. Rims out again. He's had a couple of those that have looked good. Just betrayed him off the iron. Three on the way. First lead of the game for Team Egan coming on the three. 46-41. Inside, Brown running the floor to tie us up. Panos. Thirty-five seconds to go here in the half. Ryland was looking for the step back, gets it away, and that rimmed out. Tucker. Tim Drisdom. Defended by Egan. He'll hand it off. 15 seconds left in the half, 10 on the shot clock. Tucker gonna try the three. Dakari wouldn't go, rebound gathered by Roberts. Knocked away, Brown has it, Dwayne Brown with the finish! Aggie Pride able to score it right before the break and Team Drizzum holds a 48-46 lead. You're watching the Powder League only on kslsports.com.
Start of the second half, 48-46. Team Drisdom with the lead. Team Egan led for just a moment, and they lead again. Thanks to Tony Roberts, able to hit the three to start the second half, 49-48. The advantage for Team Egan. Little turnaround, boy, tough shot for Shaq Buchanan. He's able to hit it. Ryland, working on Taylor. Here's Panos. Chapman, trying to defend him in the paint. And a foul here. As Steve Panos is gonna head back to the line here. Two shots coming up for Steve. Chapman was looking for an explanation from the official, and Ray Jean there was on the PA, just letting Chapman know, hey. It was kind of fun, player to player there. Well, three throws for Panos, able to hit it. 51-50, the advantage back to Team Egan. Chapman looking to drive. Chapman to the rack. Count it, and one for Bracott Chapman. Bracott looking for the three-point play. Count it good, no. Line violation there on Bracott. I thought that was okay, but the outside official said he crossed the line early, so. And now actually they're gonna converse. I thought he timed it well, but it was, you know, hard to see from the angle. They're conversing and they're gonna keep that bucket off. So, 52-51. Egan. Sends out. Roberts, that three won't go. Chapman with the board. Taylor, strong close out there by Egan. Here's Chapman. Roberts trying to take away that baseline. He'll fade away instead, won't go. Put back is good. Terrence Drissom with the board and finish. Bocchini, back over to Roberts. That ball deflected, it'll stay here. It's been a fun matchup here, Panos and Chapman. Panos working on Bracotta again. Boy, this is a physical matchup. Panos too strong off the back of the rim. Taylor. Oh, nice move by Taylor. Blocked away by Panos on the drive. Buchanan with a tough fade. Short. Here comes Egan. Leaves it for Jones. Back to Adam, looking to the corner, and Dakari plays that out. Here's Ryland. They get the switch, now can they get it to Panos? That entry too tall. Drizzum. Over with Buchanan. He'll step back, looking back inside here for Terrence. They couldn't connect. Taylor, a long three off the mark. We did get a name for 34, and coming back onto the floor here is Sean Bairstow, young man out of Australia, current Utah State Aggie. 
As that take by Roberts won't go, Taylor had leaked out early. How about the lob? And that time Buchanan just couldn't corral it. Had it go off his fingertips. Tracked down by Taylor. Taylor sends out to Chapman. Chapman able to hit the three. Lokini, little Maverick move. He'll take the three, that off the mark. Panos offensive board put back too strong. And here comes Dakari Tucker. Taylor, good ball movement to Shaq. And he's fouled on the take by Roberts. Two free throws coming to Shaq Buchanan. First free throw from Shaq. Good as Clark comes back on the floor. Buchanan two for two. Here's Rylan. Was looking to get it to Bear still. Kept there by Clark. Chapman able to recover. Lokini sends it up top with Barstow. Nice find back to Lokini. Had to get it away, but couldn't. Shot clock expiring. And it will go to Drisdom. Buchanan will try the three for Shaq Buchanan. And the lead back to double figures. Stolen away. Buchanan again. Won't go. Cleared by Clark. Roberts lost it. Up for Shaq. Oh, the windmill from Buchanan. And Roberts down behind the play. Tony Roberts down. We'll step aside as they look at him. 64-51. Team Drisdom out in front. Just cleaning up the floor here, getting ready to come back. Been a good run from Team Drisdom. At least 11 nothing, and potentially worse. Was trying to remember what the score was and memory not what it used to be. Want to remind you, we got a double header for you tonight. Our next game going to be Team Fulton, Team Joyce. Should be a good matchup as well. Clark. Looking to get it to Jones. Jones having to do a lot of work away from the ball to get it, and that ball lost by Lokini underneath. Can I 
Taylor gonna try a long two here, short. Here comes Barristow, working through traffic. How about that finish by Sean Barristow? He's had a good game today. Outside, inside, showing a, some athleticism there. It's a good basketball family. Captain Egan was, uh, tell me about it, brother was drafted by the Bulls from Australia. Of course, up in Cache Valley land, Aggies everywhere rejoicing at uh, the town that's up there right now. It is a program on good feet. It'll be fun to see with coaching change, how that program continues to grow is that rebound gathered by Egan. How about Jones through traffic, handing over to Lokini for the finish. 64-55, of course, fans of the Hill are excited for the former Utah State coach coming up to the Hill and straight away Shaq Buchanan dialing up the three. He's hit a couple of those tonight. Here's Bearstow. Working on Buchanan, Buchanan with the block. Shaq across the timeline, he'll try again, won't go. Bearstow, the three. Money. Taylor, looking back to Chapman, off the glass, able to beat Clark. Jones in the paint, sends it out. Bearstow, the three. Too strong, rebound finds its way to Lokini. Sean able to lay it up on over the front of the rim. 69-60, three and a half to go here in the third. Tucker from the corner. Dakari Tucker. We talked about the threes he tried in the first half. We're rimming in and out. That one rattled through. 72-60, to 60, the advantage for Team Drisdom. Egan on the drive, blocked away by Drisdom, but the foul there called will send Adam Egan to the line. Two freebies for Egan. First one off target. A.J. Hodges coming back on the floor. Dwayne Brown as well. Both for Team Drisdom. Egan, second free throw. Good. And we'll get a substitution here as Robert's going to come on here for Egan. Three minutes to play here in our third. 72-61. Taylor. Unmarked, he thought about the three. Step back here from Brandon, short. Clark, oh, Taylor, nice defensive player there, bats it out. Hodges knocks it away momentarily. Bearstow, Taylor again, able to knock it away. Off the glass, Shaq Buchanan. That one's good for the finish from Brandon Taylor. Foul there. Isaiah Wright gonna come on here. Lokini able to keep it and finishes. Tucker, step back three, too strong. Jones tracks it down, here comes Ryland. Ryland pulling up. Oh, 
right. Well, I thought an opportunity for him to take it. He was trying to get it to Brown and acknowledges coming back down that probably should have shot that one. He and Ray Jean get a laugh out of that. The foul there is Brown trying to be aggressive. Called for it. Ryland back with Clark. Pull up from 17, won't go. Hodges with the board. 80 seconds left here in the third. AJ to the rack, won't go. Ryland. Oh, how about the little midair hesitation by Ryland Jones? Pulls back to within single digits. Tucker lost it. Brown going to try the three. Rattles out. Tapped out by Wright. Buchanan will try the three. Shaq Buchanan dialing up another one. Ryland to answer. Try to get his own rebound. Batted away by Wright. Here is Isaiah. He'll try the from the corner. Won't go. Barstow with the rebound. Terminated. 30 seconds to go in the third. Lokini for three. No, just a two there from Drew. Shot clock off. Here's Dakari. 10 seconds to go here in the quarter. Dakari. Oh, had that go out. Last touch by Clark. It'll stay here. Five seconds left. Oh, this is from downtown. Not won't go. It was a long three. The heave off target. 77-67. Team Drisdom leading Team Egan through three. Final frame here in game one on this Friday night, Powder League. Come to you live from Draper APA High School. Team Drisdom has trailed twice, probably for a total of about 30 seconds. And uh, how about that? Tucker to Buchanan. Buchanan with a couple dunks here tonight. Roberts looking into Clark. Turn around. Will. Nice finish at the rim for Will Clark. Will Carter. Three on the way. Won't go for Buchanan. Been seeing Will Clark. It is baseball season. Of course, he played a while ago. Here's Roberts down the lane. Tony Roberts with a pair. A couple quick buckets here for Team Egan. Oh. 
Tucker. Trying to back down Ryland. Ryland trying to stay with it. That shot short, batted out by Roberts. He can't hold it. He'll stay here. Shot on the way, won't go. Offensive board for Brown and the putback. The lead back to 10. Jones. Right down the lane for Ryland. Two more. Brown. Offensive foul. Jones, I'll tell you what, Ryland. That young man knows how to draw him, and he does there, as it will go back here to Team Egan. 8.14 left in the fourth. Thrown in, Ryland. Gives back to Lokini underneath. Last touched by Team Drisdom. Timeout taken here by Team Egan. 804 left. 81-73. Lokini in the block, working on Tucker, sends it out. Roberts straight away off the mark. Berso being patient, foul. Sean gonna head to the line here. Two free throws coming up here for Sean Berso. Again, Team Egan still just hanging around here. First is good, one more to come, can make this a two possession game. And he does. 81-75. Brown for three, won't go, rebound to Lokini. Ryland Jones ahead for his teammate from Utah State. Barristow with the throwdown. It's a four point game. Buchanan. Through traffic, sends it out. Hodges for three. AJ Hodges. Oh, what a shot from the former Spartan. Pushing it back up here to seven. Lokini in the paint. Offensive foul called on Lokini. Rajon wasn't a fan. That was one that I was surprised, but it's going to go the other way.
Here's Tucker, seven minutes on the clock. Dakari, tough drive, patience won't go. And Carter comes away with it. Sends out Lokini. Now Ryland, Brown defending him. Ryland, Ryland around the screen. Trying to work on Hodges down the lane. The foul here called on AJ. Rajon gives Ryland some love. Ryland to the line. Jones, good on the first. Two for two. Right. Looking inside. Brown keeps it here. Right. Looking for some isolation. Step back here. Count it. As Wright came down on the foot of Carter. Carter helping him back up, but Wright able to drill the bucket. And he'll head to the line here for the three-point play. Isaiah, short, offensive board by Dwayne Brown. It's what he does. Dwayne, working on Lokini off the glass. Big possession there from Team Drisdom. Six minutes to go. Roberts, this is inside the arc, won't go, board. To Drisdom. Uh -oh. Dakari, pull up and good. Dakari Tucker with a pair and the lead pushed up to 11. 6 0 spurt here from Team Drisdom. Jones. Oh, how about that behind the back pass for Carter? And a foul here. We'll send Will Carter to the line. First three free throw here for Will. Too strong. Panos coming on the floor. Carter goes one of two. Right. Lost his footing, called for the travel. Roberts working here on Taylor. Tony works to the middle of the floor, trying to go glass, won't go. Carter, an offensive board. Little turnaround, count it. And the foul, Carter with a chance for the three-point play. Dakari works over to Taylor. He'll try, this is a two, won't go. Jones, Berso, he'll pull up from 15. Sean hits it and it's back to five. 
Tucker, step back, long two here, off the mark, panels with the board. Roberts, thinking about the three, he'll try it. Won't go, panels gets the board. Sends out to Jones. Ryland found some space. That just rattled out. Carter gets the board. One possession ball game. It's a 9-0 run here from Team Egan. And the foul here on the closeout by Panos. Reminder, we got a second game coming up for you tonight. Chapman for three. Bricot can't get it to go. Ryland gives it back. Carter for three. Off the front of the rim, Taylor, excuse me, Drizzen with the clear. Right? This is a Romeo. The foul here. Called on Bearstow. Taylor had it knocked away from behind. That couldn't be kept in by Roberts. Stays. Drisdom, long two, but good. Terrence with a long field goal. Five point lead and a timeout taken by Drisdom, 92-87. We'll be back with the final 320. Ninety-two, eighty-seven. Jones looking inside. Carter and one. Will Carter has been a man on a mission here in the fourth quarter. A chance to get Team Egan to within two. And Carter's good on it. 92 to 90. Three minutes to go here in regulation, right? Chapman tried to roll. They get it to him. He'll kick out. Drizzen, extra pass to right now. Taylor, straight away. Brandon Taylor. Oh, what a big answer. 95 to 90. Foul here. Had to clarify the foul situation there. It'll be ball out here for Team Egan. Here's Bearstow. 
Roberts looking to Carter. Off the glass, won't go. Panos with the board, couldn't finish, and Chapman with the clear. But his pass over the head of Taylor as it bounces out, and it will head back to Team Egan. Jones gives it to Roberts. Little runner here, back of the rim, batted out, gathered by Dakari Tucker, and a foul here at half court. Taylor. He'll try the three. Short. Two minutes to play. That off the foot. Chapman able to keep it. Oh, Bracott Chapman with the finish. Chapman here, something didn't go well on that. He takes the timeout. 97 to 90. Team Drisdom out in front. One forty nine left. 97 90. Team Drisdom out in front after the Chapman steal and finish. Panos inside off the glass. Count it good. Taylor defended by Jones. Step back from Taylor. Three on the way. Won't go. Clark. Carter with the clear. Three on the way. Ah, oh, Sean Bairstow with the tray and is back to a two point difference. Right? Oh, I thought he wanted that three to answer. Trying to move around. That ball finds its way to Taylor at the rack and he'll finish it. Taylor called for the foul here in the backcourt. Free throws coming up here for Ryland Jones. First free throw for Jones in. Two for two. Here's Dakari. Final minute of play. Tucker, pull up from 17, won't go. Rebound to Roberts. Roberts in the lane, looking for Panos. And that's gathered by Brown for Team Drisdom. Big turnover. Taylor. Drisdom with a chance here to put it away. 30 seconds to go, 10 on the shot clock. Brandon Taylor working on Bearstow. The drive by Taylor off the glass won't go. Ball picked up by Drisdom. We got a foul given here by Carter. It will be Drisdom here to inbound. 
thir 18 seconds to go, 13 on the shot clock. Taylor, 10 on the shot clock, foul. It'll be inbounded here. I think that was the last foul to give there by Team Egan. Right, inbounds to Taylor. Double team coming on Brandon. And a foul here called baseline. With nine seconds to go, we'll send Taylor to the line. Two free throws coming up here for Taylor. I think they're saying Carter just fouled out. Lokini gonna come on for him. Two free throws for Taylor. First one just goes in for Taylor. Looked like that ball was trying to decide what to do. One more. Two for two for Taylor. 101 97. Jones, triple team, looking for help inside to Panos. He'll go off the glass, and that will do it. 101 to 99, your final score. Team Drizdom pulls out the victory over Team Egan. Great contest here by both sides. And our player of the game. Well, that's tough. Very balanced effort. We're going to go with Shaq Buchanan tonight. Shot the ball well from the perimeter. Had some nice finishes. This is Team Drizdom 101 99 over Team Egan. Don't go anywhere. We've got the second game of our doubleheader coming up for you next, right here, as you're watching the Powder League only on kslsports.com. <laughs>